Pressure County traffic, Archer 9 or 5 to Alpha, left crosswind, runway 24, Pressure County. County traffic, Archer 9 or 5 2 Alpha, left downwind runway 24, first cannon. All right. Test, test. Yep. All right, so it's turn the weather on. So here we'd hit COM2. Niner. And the reason for doing it over the radio is when you go to Raleigh, you have to have ATIS, have the uh, phonic alphabet with it. Here there's no phonic alphabet because we're not telling anybody. Okay. How do I, where's the volume? Uh, maybe it's just on my thing. One, zero. Clear below one two thousand temperature five Celsius dew point minus six altimeter. The other person was saying that they were having trouble hearing it. I hear it fine, but the volume control is right there, and there's a volume control right there, and then there's a volume control for intercom right there. Seven five two Zulu weather wind. I can hear it. Eight zero at seven visibility one zero. Clear below one two thousand temperature five Celsius two point minus six altimeter three zero two niner. First county traffic. And then we also have it here. Alpha left base runway two four. First county observation one seven five three. Uh, let's see. Um, goes back up. Uh, 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 Archer nine or five two Alpha turning final runway two four. Hold on, first scan. Hasn't been. I had my radio on. Uh, I put that radio. Let's go ahead and test the brakes. I test your brakes. All right. So now when it says Light instruments check the ones that we just right. So the the flight instruments would be the altimeter which we set yep. there and there. Yep. This one looks normal, centered up, balls in the center, balls centered here, no red flag. This one is set with the compass, and it looks actually off a little bit. Uh, pretty close, and it, it won't typically be real close. I mean, the compass is okay not great anyway these are navigation so the and this one you can't set so All right, at this point I would normally kind of look at my radio stack I'm on com one I've got 22 7 in I could hear other people talking yep. this one's already set up this one if we wanted to we could go direct and type it in just and I think that's just like the plane you were using um, yeah if similar you, if you didn't want to do that then the other thing you can do is take the big knob, go all the way to the right. That gives us Person County also. Highlight it, direct and enter twice. And there we have it. Okay. And then it kicks you back into nav page, and there's the moving map, but with the data. Okay. And then we're on 1200. It's ground biased, so we can, once we're in the air, it should kick into ALT. Okay. All right, so... Uh 
Uh, autopilot we're not going to work with. Let's okay. traffic, Archer 9 or 5, 2 Alpha, clear of runway 24. Both. Exactly more pattern work, first scanning. Rich. RPM 17. Okay, so from here. Go. We're going to go yeah. over there. That's correct. All right. <laughs> Good thinking. I stopped before I did it because yeah. I'm not used to that. So. I know, I know. I, I was kind of waiting to see. <laughs> You're doing good. So how far? Uh, All the way to the end. I feel bad because there's these guys about to take off, though, right? Well, I mean, the TBM, we're going to be ready to go before the TBM in all likelihood. He's got to get a set up a lot of equipment, and okay. he's got checklists to run, and he's probably going to get a clearance, though he might get it in the air. Okay. The guy that owns it, he actually uh, lives yeah, here? Yeah, it's owner flown. Okay. Those must be his friends, family? Uh, business. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, he does use it for some for personal use, but it's mainly a business airplane. Okay. What's his business? Um, he actually does airport maintenance. Huh. And his way he got started was he developed some chemicals and techniques for cleaning rubber off of the asphalt. And uh, I think mainly, slow down a little bit. Good. And I think mainly um, at military bases originally, and then at big civilian airports, you know, with jet with the a lot of high traffic airports, uh, because the wet rubber doesn't have much braking coefficient, and so they would pay him, you know, once or twice a year to come in and clean the rubber off. And then from there, I think he got into painting and <coughs> other things. Oh. Must be doing pretty good. He's got a nice plane. Got a nice plane. Does it? At one point, he was going all over the world doing it. And here lately, I don't know if he's still doing that, but he does go all over the U.S. And then I think he's got an office in San Antonio or somewhere down there that, because there are a lot of military training going on down there. Carson County traffic, Archer 952 Alpha. Taking off runway 24, left traffic, first counting. So we're looking at run up at the whole trip. Yep. Usually I like to see the line over top of the nose. After that, it doesn't matter how close you are or how far back. I don't don't try to put the nose wheel on it or anything. I just right here. Yep, yeah, here's fine. All right, uh, RPM. I'm always trying to be conscious of worst case problems, and here, be I'm looking down and not paying any attention. And I start rolling. Same thing on the ramp. That's that's your worst problem on the ramp is that you get so involved in this stuff that you don't pick up the fact the plane's moving. Okay. It wasn't, was it? No, it was not. <laughs> okay. um, I didn't know if that was a subtle way of you trying to say, hey, don't no, do that. No, no, you were doing fine. The okay. main, mainly because if you're at Raleigh and you roll, if you pull right up to that line and then roll, you're over it. Trust so, me, I... I so weird to not have a fear of that line because there's lights blinking, there's jets landing. Uh, it's a little yeah. different. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's no real advantage to being 10 feet closer. All right. Uh, I'm going to be 17. First. Back to both. And left. Back to both. Looks like we're looking at a pretty good even. Yep. Breakdown. And smooth. Wasn't skipping. And now back to uh, 
1100. Um, so, it says carp heat. Okay. Yeah, check. So, not being fuel injected, what you've been flying is fuel injected. Right. The carb heat, you can actually check it at almost any RPM, and when you pull it out, you should see it drop a little bit, anywhere from 20 to 50 RPM, and push it back in. And then push it back in, want it to come back up where it was. Good. Okay. Heaven doors closed and locked. And now we need to check the... Uh so these are all on the runway. This is your last chance to not oh, miss this anything. Is it. Okay, so I need to go. So make your announcement. There we go. Uh, I figure out if he's coming in. He's far enough out. If you go ahead, you're, we're good. Okay. If you wait, we aren't. Okay. Person County Traffic, uh, 172 Papa Alpha taking runway 24. Person County Traffic. Now, he's starting his turn, so we need to go ahead and keep going. Uh, go ahead and swing. And you can put your checklist away and just keep her rolling. Open. Good. Herson County traffic, Archer 952 Alpha is on final runway 24. Herson County. Herson County traffic. Airspeed's alive. Five. Rotate. Now remember your feet work with your hands. The only time that's not true is on landing. Okay. And we'll go straight out to about 16 and then turn out to the north, west. Okay. Got cloudy in a hurry. Yeah, they said there was going to be a possibility of some showers later this afternoon. I was hoping late, but like late, late, like evening, late. <laughs> uh, said right, six. So heading about three hundred. Can we make the turn now? Okay. Yep. Okay. And person Cessna 2 Papa Alpha turning out to the northwest, climbing to 3000. Perth County traffic, Archer 9 and 5 2 Alpha clear, runway 24, taxi back to more pattern work. Perth County. What is that uh, hill over there? Uh, which one are you looking at? Right there. Oh, right uh, that is Sowertown Sour Mountain. Oh, okay. Uh, and Pilot Mountain. Wow. I didn't realize you were that close. They aren't. <laughs> we're just up. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they're northwest of Winston-Salem. I'm just surprised that we can see it. Especially with the haze. Yeah, it's not bad. It's gotten a tiny bit hazier. As you look more around, you can see the mountains up past Martinsville. Yep. And if you look really hard, you can see Peak Savada 
uh, north of Lynchburg. Technology is Raleigh. He's basically letting somebody else know that you know he's waiting. It's for the, somebody getting off the runway. It's a way of nudging them a little bit to go ahead or something. You know, must have been not that be slow. But at the same token, uh, if you were pulling out in front of somebody between a takeoff and a landing and you're in the middle, you might want to let them know that you're doing it. And then about 2300 is usually a pretty good number to air, uh, RPM to tool around for training purposes. Okay. You go faster if you want to, but it, all it does is burn fuel. Across countries we go use more power sometimes. And then you want to get the plane trimmed to be hands off at 3,000 feet. Okay. So. And of course, remember that your trim is airspeed dependent. So if you use the same power settings, you get pretty used to it. If you change power, it's going to change what the trim needs to be. Or you can use the more power or less power to make the plane go up or down. I think it's pretty good. Okay. My heading is 324 though, sorry. That's fine. Right, close is okay with me at the moment. All right, so next thing we need to do is do some clearing turns and then set up for the power off stall. Okay. You uh, always go left or right? Do you have I, a preference? Uh, I think I don't have a strong preference. I think left is preferable. I think again, it's you know worst case scenario. If somebody's coming up behind you and they go to pass you. They should pass to your right. So if you turn away from them, would to me make some sense. But I'm not hardcore about it. Either way is not a big deal. Okay. And, you know, this is something you also have to do for your check ride, is do clearing turns. So your clearing turn, you want to, you know, use typically 25, 30 degree bike, and you want to be looking all around the plane, uh, up, down, sideways, around, you know, everywhere. And then when you have done two of them, then we'll roll back out and we'll set up as if we were going to do a landing. Okay. Lost some altitude. And
Okay. Now, also keep in mind, the longer you wait after you finish your clearing turns, the less Long useful after. they were. <laughs> Sorry, it just kind of dawned on me. I was I was focusing on the stupid thing. Well, I mean, and I'm fine if you want to just fly around a few minutes, and experiment with you know, how this plays out. And, you know, kind of kind of getting comfortable with the plane. I'm good with that. I'm going to make a couple of turns now. Yeah. We actually probably be ahead if we can kind of end up heading back to about a, uh, back, back. One, 150 to 120, somewhere in that range. Okay. We're not way away, but you know, I try not to go too far. Go too far because you don't get a lot of benefit out of just riding. Yep. First scanning traffic, Archer 952 Alpha. Turning final, runway 24, first scan. And then landmarks that you can see, there's a white building top over there. Yep. That's the just on the other south, on the east side of the airport. We kind of go around it in yep. the pattern. That's if we go over it when we're landing. Yep. And then the lake way out there is Falls of the Noose. Okay. And then the airport is kind of that way. You can see one big green field just south of it. So those are all fairly decent landmarks. Okay. The lake you see is a smaller lake. And then Heiko is off to the left side. All right. I'm currently at 34, which is a little high. But It'll work. I'm good with that. You okay with that? Yep. Okay. So just set up from here as if you're going to land the airplane. All right. Car so heat, power and flaps. Uh, car heat is in. Yeah, you want it out. Uh, again, something you're not used to <laughs> because of being fuel injected. So on landing, carby comes out. Yes. Uh, it. Always working left or all, almost Always every airplane, it's left or right. Okay. All right. And uh, about 1700 is usually a good starting point on the power. And then try to keep the plane pretty much level till it slows down. And, uh, and then going down below 110, yeah. flaps 10. 10 degrees of flaps, and don't let it balloon on you. Good. And then in the white arc, we can go ahead and get the rest of the flaps. All right. And this should slow us down to somewhere at level flight, about 65 or so. And then I think there's maybe a tiny bit more flap you got. Good. And then from here, this is like coming in on short final. Yep. All right. So we're doing about 70. The angle looks good. We'd be coming in, you know, somewhere about halfway, a third of the way between here and the horizon. Looks pretty good. And here the power comes all the way out. Keep Use your feet to keep us going straight. Don't let the nose turn by using your feet. Power all the way out. Just pull hard on it. And then pretend you're landing. So slowly bring the nose up in a flare. And again, don't let it turn. Work those feet. Just bring it on up slowly, but keep it coming. Otherwise, all we do is fall out of the air. So we're coming down 600 feet a minute, but we're not getting the stall done. So smoothly bring the nose up close to the horizon. Keep coming back on it faster. More pull, more pull, bigger pull. Keep pulling on it. You're not moving it. Keep pulling harder and harder. More movement. Keep coming. Keep coming. Remember, your feet are important. Keep pulling on it. You're still not finishing. Got a little bit more. A little bit harder. And there's your buzzer. So that's a warning. That's your alarm clock. Says, do you really want to do this? If not, power up and pitch up and clean up and those kinds of things. So let's go wide open. Always throttle first. Control your pitch, but wide open. Wide open. Carb heat coal. And you can bring the flaps up to 10 degrees. Now you're doing good on holding pitch. Don't let it fall away. Again, that's how much the flaps influence what you're doing. And then once you get to about 65 or 70, you get the flaps the rest of the way up and climb back up. And other than picking up the pace just a little bit, that's pretty good. 
Thanks. So let's turn to heading of about 060. Okay. That way we won't get in too close to the airport. So left turn 060. I was going to turn away from the airport, but that's... Purple County traffic, Archer 952 Alpha, taking off, runway 24, left traffic, Purple County. Do you want me to stay 3,000? Yeah, uh, 3 will be fine. Okay. Or, yeah, I'm good at 3, I'm good at 35, either one. Okay. Okay, so want to set up another one of those. So go back to normal cruise power first. And on this one, I want to carry it all the way down till you feel it break away from the pitch. And the only thing you need to do slightly different is in the end, you need a little bit bigger mower movement. You gotta get it over with. Okay. It's like taking bad medicine, just take the swig and be done. <laughs> Do you sense I was hesitant? <laughs> are you comfortable with stalls? Because a lot of people are not. Uh, that that power... The power off. on, I understand. Yeah, power off is a little bit weird for me. Off? Off. Okay. I have the controls. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just walk you back through this. Okay. I'm going to do one clearing turn, as you said, to get us away from the airport a little bit. So we're looking around for traffic. County traffic, Archer 952 Alpha, left off And then, if you're resting on the pedals, you'll feel me moving them a little bit. So the landing would be carb heat, power back to about 17, 10 degrees of flaps, mixture in. So one, two, three, four. Uh, as I slow down now, in real life, I'd be coming down. However, for stall purposes. I don't want to lose a lot of altitude because I just got to climb back up. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and get the full flaps in. I'm going to let the nose down just a little bit just so it doesn't sneak up on me. So right now I'm not working very hard here. Power coming out, if I take it out, I don't want to drop the nose. So now I got a little bit of back pressure okay. and I'd start my flare as the runway roll, rods out, keeping it straight very slowly up to the horizon and just coming back and back and back and back, and there's the stall. And notice I haven't let off, and the plane just stalls and unstalls. <laughs> and a little bit of right foot to keep it from turning, because it wants to turn. A little bit of aileron. And obviously you wouldn't want to hold it that long in a check ride, so I lower the nose back down, smoothly bring the power back in, keep it from over-rotating, cleaning it up, and once I got enough speed, flaps the rest of the way up and climb back up. Okay. And that's the airplane trying to save your butt. <laughs> As most people think, it's my job to make sure the plane doesn't just go and crash. Well, the plane's really trying to save you. If, if you, you're the one tormenting the airplane. And so the second you relax that pressure just a tiny bit, it goes right back to flying. Yep. Uh, and the more you develop a comfort that it will take care of you, then the more it relaxes you to do other things. Okay. Want me to do a clear turn and try yeah. again? And then also power back to uh, cruise setting. Practice our nine five two three. Turn the approach to step on final at three thousand five hundred. Park County traffic, Archer nine five two Alpha, turning final run. Tiny bit of back pressure, otherwise you're going to lose a lot of altitude. And for the county traffic, Archer 578 Kilo is 
10 miles to the rest of the field established in All right. the ILS 6, low personal county. So he's not Car a factor. Beat. Yep, car beat. Keep your nose level until it slows down. So then power back. Mixture in and 10 degrees of laps. Okay, and then you feel all that change with the flaps coming in. Yep. So now, now, in real life, we'd have the nose down a bit, gliding at about 500 feet a minute, and be fairly relaxed on the controls. You wouldn't really be pulling very much right now in the traffic pattern. All right. All right, then we'd make our turn. In this case, we don't need to. Uh, and then we'd put in another notch of flaps, and that's, gonna, again, going to try to pitch up. Don't let it. Good. And then we turn final and we put in any flaps that were left that we needed to put in. And now we're on short final, so the power is coming all the way out. And again, your feet need to work. They don't not typically not huge movements, but your feet don't let the nose turn. You're, they steer where the nose is pointed in the landing and in the stalls. And then slowly bring the nose up to the horizon. So just bring your tip of your cowling up just about to the horizon and keep it there. Keep pulling on it. Keep pulling on it. Got it. Keep coming. Keep coming. A harder. Big movement. Big movement. Don't let it turn. Big movement. All the way. Right there. There's your stall. And see, by not letting off, you're right in that edge. So now the recovery is smoothly bring your power in and relax the yoke. Shut the buzzer off. That's, that's your <laughs> alarm again. And then carve heat coal. And it's always wide open. You, you're, if you're near the ground and you are decided not to land, the faster you get back away from the ground, the better. So it's always wide open. And because you're slow, that's the thing you need first. And then you need to get the flaps up because there's like riding the brake and with your foot on the throttle and your other foot on the brake on your car. Yep. And we'll do a climbing left turn, head back towards the southeast again. Okay. We'll depart to the west. And then how fast you pull is all relative to the landing. Okay. But if you quit pulling, then the plane just plops on the ground. All right, so let's up to 35, where, where uh, what's next? All right, so let's do one more of those, and then we'll do one power on, and then we're going to head back and do landings. Okay. So, does that count? <laughs> or do you want me to do another clearing turn? Uh, no, you can go straight ahead. Uh, just, it's one of the reasons I work this area is there's not much traffic up through here. And while I don't want that to lull me into complacency, of not looking at all, it's part of what makes this a better area to train in. Alright, one notch of flat. So, car heat, power flaps. Then once it's down around 80 or so, let's drop the nose just a little bit to, again, you don't want this to, rut, to, to sneak up on you. Good. So, power all the way out. And don't let it turn. Work those feet. Good. And smoothly bring it up till it falls away from you. Keep pulling on it. Keep pulling bigger and bigger. Now, you notice you're pretty slow, but the nose is down. Okay? So, let's drop the nose and go back into a glide for just a minute and then work that flare again. 
All right, that's good. Now bring it back up into a flare. Slow and easy. Slow and easy. Take your time. And then just keep coming back on it till you get a stall. Just keep working it and working it and working it. Don't quit. You only quit when you feel it touch or feel the stall break away. About like that. Power back up. Wide open. Good. Carb heat coal. Flaps coming back up. And let's go back to cruise for a minute. I got something else I want you to do prior to the power on stall. Okay. All right. So you see the power plant right out there in front of you, the two stacks? Yep. There's another one over there of one stack. <clears throat> so we use the two stacks. Okay. What we're going to do is call Dutch rolls. Never did that. I uh, didn't much think so. <laughs> All right. What it really is is a series of side slips. Okay. All right. So I have the controls. All right. Your controls. Now, the purpose. The purpose of this maneuver is to work your feet, is to get where they become automatic. Okay. And so what we're going to do is slow down a little bit. We're not actually doing stalls. We're just slowing down. And what we want to do is put the left wing down just a little bit, but keep the nose pointed at the stacks. Okay. So this would normally be a turn, but I don't want to turn. So i got to feed in however much foot it takes to fly sideways. Sideways. And I'm going to power you back up a little bit because I don't really want to lose a lot of altitude here. I just want to do what you would be doing in a crosswind to land. All right. Now, where the Dutch roll comes into play is where when you roll the other way, the nose wants to turn and you can't let it. We're basically just doing this? Yeah, back but, and forth. But we're so we're side slipping, and in a crosswind, the trouble is the wind bouncing you around, you're constantly changing. And so what this is designed to do is to teach you what your feet do. Okay. Right. So you have the feet, I have the controls. Okay. Now I'm okay if you want to hold on to them to kind of feel what I'm doing, but what I'm doing right now is keeping your wing down. Now, if you see it turning, what that tells me is that you got to stand on that foot. Okay. All right. Whatever it takes to point the nose. You got it? Yeah. Now, the deal with this would be that if you can't, if you are coming in on a crosswind and you got the wing down and you can't keep it from turning because you got the wing so far down, it's too windy to land. Unless, okay. unless you just don't have any other option. Right. All right. So I'm going to roll to the right. Now, the, most people let off. You can't do that because if you let off, see where the nose goes? And what we want to do is keep pointed towards the oh, okay. stack over there. Okay. So that's our target, as if it were the runway. And however much you got to work your feet, I don't care. This this is you know the you're familiar with the uh, Broadway show River Dance, <laughs> where they're doing all the tapping. Well, this is a rudder dance. And however hard you got to push, if if you got to push harder to make it come around, that would be a normal turn. If you got to push harder to keep it from turning, whatever it takes. Okay, rolling left. Good. Rolling right. And that's where everybody does it. For some reason, people do pretty good going left, but when I roll right, they want to instantly let off that right foot. I don't know why. I don't know either, but, but I can tell you 99% of the people do it. And, of course, on a windy day, you're just constantly twitching, tweaking the ailerons to keep the plane from drifting sideways, and your feet have to do the same thing. They have to be dancing to keep the nose going straight. And it, believe me, it doesn't come natural. <laughs> okay, going right. Hey, you're catching on. Now, 
Now, what you want to do is kind of just sight right in front of you, straight in front of you. Okay. All right, now we're going to move and use the other power plant. Okay. So now we do want to turn. So this is a normal turn. Right. And then as we get here, stop the turn with your feet. Good. Now again, straight in front of you. There's a tendency to look kind of over the middle of the nose, and it, that, it works better if you just straight in front of you. Okay. Okay, rolling left. Now remember, it's going to take some pressure, even though you're in and out, what you're trying to do is find out where, how much pressure is going to hold it. And stay on the pressure. Stay on it. Now change. Much. So it's kind of gentle. Some, yeah. day, some days you're dancing literally that much to make good landings. And some days you are just nice and easy letting in and out of the pressure. And the truth is that rarely is the wing down any more than we have it right now. So it's, it, that's a pretty strong crosswind right there. That, that's probably where the demonstrated crosswind component is. And rolling right. Just ease off of them. Just ease them over to the other way. Rolling left. And rolling back right. Okay, I have the controls. Controls. So I'm going to show you one other thing, then we'll do the power on and head back and do some landings. Okay. So if I were coming into land on a short runway and I had to get down, and I use this in emergencies a lot, we'd have the power all the way out. We'd have the flaps maybe all the way down or certainly part of the way down. And I would throw into a hard side slip. So I'm still pointing the track towards the power plant. I got the rudder buried, I'm steering with my feet, and I'm controlling air speed with pitch. And normally when we do this, we will end up somewhere around 1,200 feet a minute. For some reason it's not showing it there, but we're coming out of the air pretty fast. Well, you've gotten a little updraft or something. And the thing you want to be careful about is that you don't let it get too slow with you. So you have to make sure the nose doesn't go way up. Okay. And that's called a side slip, because you're tracking that way. And the, I'm sorry, that, that one's called a forward slip, because you're tracking, but, and the side slip's where you're moving the plane back and forth. Okay. All right, you have the controls. My controls. We'll do a clearing turn, head back to the south. Okay. And we'll do a power on stall. And the power on stall, you don't necessarily have to have the nose break it for what we want to do with this. We want to get down to a shaking. If it does pitch a little bit, that's okay. Mainly I want to get it till you feel it, buff it, and recover. Okay. Because you got to be literally brain dead to not know you're in that position in real life. To pull up so high that it just pitches up and stalls is basically a zoom climb. And unless you miss it, trying to mix, miss another airplane, you'd never get there. Uh, the controls get, you know, the slower you get, the heavier they get. The plane just won't go up, but so much. Okay. So to demonstrate this on a check ride, we want to start by slowing the plane down. So we want to basically get down to about 55 knots, but clean. So literally, that's just pull the power back. Probably about 1,500 RPM will help you get there quicker. And then gradually bring the nose up to bleed off the speed rather than lose altitude. If you don't bring it up, then we come down, but we don't slow down. Keeping in mind that you aren't going to be able to really see over the nose other than clouds. If you want to know where the ground is, you're going to have to look around the nose. Good. You're doing good. Pulling on back a little bit more. Now, hold the back pressure and add power. And the nose will come up on its own accord 
If it does, it'll take a tiny bit of right foot. Now don't let off because we haven't stalled yet. If you let off, all we do is go back fast again. So very slowly, yeah, just kind of hold that and let the speed bleed off. Now gradually bring the nose up a little bit more. Tiny bit of right foot so we don't turn. Not very much, though. Keep pulling back on it because right now all we're doing is climbing. Keep gradually, slowly bringing the nose up. Looking around the corner, not over the nose. Kind of right out through there. Keep pulling back. Keep coming back on it. Tiny bit of right foot, not much. Keep coming back. Tiny bit of right foot, don't let it turn. Pull in a little bit more. A little bit more. That's what I said, you gotta be brain dead to get into this without knowing you're about to do it. Keep pulling on it. A little bit more, you're almost there. Not quite, I haven't heard the buzzer yet. I haven't heard the alarm clock. Tiny bit more, now you're not stalled yet. Got to pull a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Feel that? All right, recover. That was, wasn't really buffeting much, but it was wobbling like it was a drunk on Saturday night. And we'll level back out. But I cannot underemphasize, or overemphasize, I guess is the right term, cannot overemphasize how critical it is that you use your feet. You're right. Because you in, in that kind of stall, if you don't use them correctly, you can find yourself peeling off one way or the other and potentially getting into a spin. No, I do have so a back to level flight. I do have a correction. Okay. But I said earlier, this is the one that I don't like. And I understand that. Nobody does. Okay. <laughs> I, I've got the two mixed up. I'm like, okay, I think there's one that I don't like, and that's the one. Yeah. And well, it's because you're looking up at the freaking sky. And, and I agree. And all you're thinking is, is it, where am I? Where am I going to go? Well, and that's the reason you look out the corner. I get that. but w Once you can see the horizon, you can also tell if you're turning. If it's a blue day or if it gets any hazier, you can't tell looking over the nose. I remember back when I was learning to fly and we'd do stalls and we'd do the clearing turns, we used about a 30 or 40 degree bank in the clearing turns and he'd say, okay, now you got to look up. And I'd look up and there was nothing but blue sky. I had no idea where I was looking. Used to scare the bejesus out of me. <laughs> and over time, I got to where I got a lot more comfortable and... Uh, I would hope so, yeah. And... Uh, Went on to do basic aerobatics. I ain't ready for that. I, no. Okay, so what we want to do now is head back in and do some landings. Okay. So we've got to gradually lose altitude. There's the airport right down there. <coughs> and if you zoomed out on this a little bit, there's the airport and the traffic pattern. Okay. Uh, do you want me to err on the downwind 45? Um, I, from here, I'd probably go to the crosswind. Okay. We, we haven't really sat and talked about traffic patterns at this point. I, I'm not a big fan of going across unless you go a thousand above the pattern. Yeah. If well, you want to do that, I'm okay with that. Uh, and then swing out and go around that big field out there. Or we can just go this way, let down, and come around the airport as a rectangle. Yeah, let's just do that. that that's actually what I do. That's fine. Makes sense. All I'm trying to do is think about where other airplanes would most likely be. And just because I'm planning to use runway 24 doesn't mean somebody isn't using 6. Right. Which would put them on a downwind, but I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking, well, they're going to be on the other side. Vibration, what is that? I don't know. It's thinking the same thing. I don't think it was more acoustical. Moved out after you. Yeah, it's just just at one little RPM band, right, right about there. The only thing we've changed is he's put these in, glued these antennas up here. I don't know if that's creating a harmo you know, harmonic type vibration or not. Huh. Two miles east of the airport. 
That's the only real change in the airplane. Uh, how do we turn up there the volume of the? All right, we're going to keep coming down because two miles to the south and be entering 45 on left pattern on the two four. Remember, planes leaving are cli typically climbing. What we'd like to do is be under them. All right. And Person County Cessna 2 Pop Alpha is about four miles to the north, inbound for downwind runway 24, Person. All right, let's kind of follow that power line. That's about two and a half miles out. Traffic Commander Signale Julia reporting the first pattern and flying to the south, climbing to 3,000, Person County. So we want to keep coming down because he's climbing and we want him above us. So think about your pitch control. Think about what you want the plane to be doing. Echo Romeo is currently uh, two miles to the east of the airport. Going to uh, enter a left downland runway. Two, three, full stop, Dinwiddie. That's not us. Some other airports close by? Yeah, there's about eight or ten different airports that all own the same frequency. So keep coming down. Again, we want to ideally be below that plane that's taking off and climbing. I haven't picked him out yet, so I don't know exactly where he is. But so looking for 1,600 feet. Think about your airplane. So the traffic tank is directly by right down the lane 25. All right, if you don't see Mauricio out there anywhere. Mauricio. Yeah, the guy on the commander. Oh. So level out, bring your power back up to cruise. Otherwise, you'll keep coming down. You don't want to do that. We also don't want to climb. So about 2,300 RPM. And again, it's why we have a set number we use every time is because that should be about where you trim for. All right, we'll turn to perpendicular to the airport. And Person County 2 Papa Alpha is about three miles off the end of the runway six and we're in crosswind to go downwind two four person. So roll back out, take a look around, make sure we don't see anybody coming at us, about to run over us. And then when you think you're in the right place, we'll make our turn to downwind. Now remember, you don't want to be so tight that you have to do a U-turn at the far end. You want to give yourself room to maneuver, room to make everything work together. Sixteen hundred feet, level, trimmed, twenty-three hundred RPM, and wide enough so that you got time. I think we talked about it last time. The runway should appear to, I think, about halfway up your strut if you're in the right distance. Yep. And you're not bad, probably about over top of these two little ponds, or maybe even very slightly to the south of them, okay. would be a pretty good distance. Triple W traffic, Sparma 5 Mike Delta, is now miles to the east at 1,800 in Mapper Lane, Triple W. And Person County, two pop alphas downwind, two four person. Yeah, it's almost halfway. Okay, that's about the distance you are right now is a pretty good distance. It's wide enough so that you can make a base leg to play with. You can also get back to the airport if the engine quit. 
then you want to turn to go parallel to the runway. So we don't want to be getting wider, but we also don't want to be getting closer. And that doesn't necessarily mean the nose is pointed parallel. It depends on what the wind's doing. A beam your touchdown. No, because left side first. Carb heat, then power, then mixture, then flaps, controlling pitch. Good. And when it gets down to about 80 to 85, the controls kind of balance themselves. You got a little too much power in. Now traffic for 106, crossing on a 24. And then when you think you're in about the right place, you can make your turns. Wayne is exit 7 November, downwind on 23. Wayne is exit. Person County, two pop alpha, base leg, two four person. Now, you want to be losing altitude. Think of this as kind of like a water slide or a hill or a ramp or whatever works for your mental image. And we want a steady descent down to the runway. Not a not a up and down, but just a nice steady plane that intersects the runway. Now the notch of flaps. Power back a little bit. You got too much power in, we're not coming down. A little bit more power out. Okay, so we're a tiny bit high, but not bad. So here we're going to have to pull the power sooner in order to get down and get to full flaps sooner. Otherwise, we're hung up here. Make sense? Feel like you're high? Yep. All right, so full flaps, power all the way out for the moment. Once we fall back into our place, then we can power up if we need to. May not need to. He may able to be able to glide in from here. This is really about what an emergency landing would look like. <laughs> it's high and steeper. So speed's good. 75, that's pretty good speed. And you can't necessarily, you aren't going to necessarily always hit the 1,000-foot markers. That's just a generalized target. If you hold the pitch about where you got it, see what's rising, what's going down. If the pitch is up and down, you can't tell. But if the pitch is pretty steady, anything rising, you aren't going to get to. Anything staying really still, you're going to hit. Anything going down, you're going over. So looking good. Just power all the way out yet. Yep. Still coming down. Still down. About three stripes ahead of you. Slowly, slowly bring the nose up. Keep coming. And you can't let off when you touch. If you do, you pound the nose. Remember, you got a whole freeze on it and let it kind of settle itself down. Carb heat coal. And nice and smooth on the power, and we'll go again. Person County, two pop alpha taking off on two four. Your feet are up on the brakes just slightly. So slide your heels back just a little bit. Good. Still climbing. There you go. And my preference is, you know, right now you're climbing, your tip of the cowling should be up about on the horizon. In the summertime, you'll be doing about 70. In the winter, you'll be doing about 80. That's just due to density of air. And having a little bit extra speed is a benefit uh, for controllability. It also works out to be about 10 degrees nose up on the attitude indicator. Yep. Person County Traffic, Archer 578 Kilo, 10 mile final, RNAS 6, circle to land, runway 24, Person County. And we're at 700 above the ground, so look around. If you don't see anything, turn 90 degrees. Person County, Cessna 2 Papa Alpha is turning crosswind, uh, 24, Person. Now control your pitch. Pitch control is probably the hard lesson for everybody in flying, but it's also pretty important. It shouldn't be going like this. The distance you see, the horizon should be staying pretty still unless you purposely change it. But now we want to lower the nose to level flight. Think about what levels should look like. And remember the feet. Nose down a tiny bit. Nose down, don't want to climb. Power back to cruise. 
pitch, pitch control. Good, right there. And getting used to seeing, you know, what it looks like, the amount of horizon over the nose in level flight is part of the art form of making this all come together. I'm a little bit high though. Okay, then you can back your power off. You can start your setup a little bit sooner. You can drop the nose ever so slightly. You know, you know we're not in any big hurry here. All right. So carb heat, then set up for your landing. So about 1,700. Nose down, uh, nose about level, I'm sorry. And then drop in 10 degrees of flaps. Good. And turn out traffic check, you want to Nice. Again, want to turn out, uh, in the area. Flaps try to balloon you back up. That'll help you bleed off some of your speed. And then we should end up at about 500 feet a minute down, somewhere around 80 to 85 knots. We'll go out just a tiny bit more than normal, but not much. And about now, make your turn. And Person County, two pop alphas, base leg, runway two four person. Good, now the notch flaps. Looking good. This one's going better. And Percy County traffic at your 578 kilo, 5 mile final. And then the go ahead and make your turn. And Percy County Cessna 2 Pop Alpha's turn about a 1 mile final for 2 4 person. So now you want to keep the nose down because you don't want to balloon, don't want to level out. With the drag and not enough power, if you level out, you're going to get slow. So looking pretty good. Nose up just a smidgen and go to full flaps. All right. So now we're aiming just like you'd aim a pool cue or a rifle or whatever, aiming at the 1,000-foot point. So looking really good. Speed looks good, sink rate looks good. It's still coming down. Everything's status quo till we get start to see the runway widen out. Or if you decided you were too low or too high, you could obviously change power and pitch a little bit. Looking good, still coming down, nice and steady. Power coming back very slowly. It don't drop the nose. Just hold status quo. And Power coming down. Eight alpha Good. Breaking off the RNAV. So starting to round out. Three stripes ahead of you. Work your lows up. And if you see it falling out from under you, you got to get that nose up a little bit quicker. That's floating. But you're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I didn't touch it till right at the very end. I know, end. I know. Okay. Got, to, got to preserve that tel that uh, nose wheel. Yep, got to preserve the nose wheel. <laughs> and the main gear to some degree. <laughs> but you were per that one where you were a lot more stable. That one you were pretty steady all the way. That's what we're looking for. Yep. And your traffic's right, a little gray dot right over there. Yeah, I see him. Is he on downwind now? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So don't pull into him. There's a tendency to go where you look, so if you stare at him, there's a tendency <laughs> to turn into him. That would not be good. And person two, Pop Alpha, is climbing out. We have the downwind traffic in sight. Appreciate that, Pop Alpha. We got you in sight as well. We're going to be circling the land, then going this, then we're going to be heading off to the west. Get out of your way. Yeah, not in our way. We're glad to work with you. Appreciate that, 78 kilo. Working out traffic from 106, fire pattern to the northwest. Probably an extended a little bit since he's no, there. No, he'll be out of your way. He's flying a lot tighter pattern than you're going to fly. Okay. Now well, I'm going to turn. He, what he's practicing is instrument. Okay. So he's down about 900 feet, 10,000 feet indicated. We're going to 1,600. Person, tra uh, person County Traffic, uh, 172 Papa Alpha is turning left crosswind uh, for uh, runway 24. 
I don't know where the hell. your feet. The heel would not be a factor at all for you. He's right up there and below the tree, down in the trees, kind of. Little white, small white line. Yep, I see him. And he'll be turning a tighter pattern typically than we're going to fly. So what we do want to do is make sure that we aren't inside him. So we don't want to lose sight of him, so we really need to turn back away just a little bit. Want me just to follow him? Uh, I want you to fly your normal pattern. Okay. He is flying a tighter pattern because of what he's practicing. Okay. So we're go we would normally go out further than him. Traffic, Archer, so, seven, carb uh, heat, powered flaps. About six and a half miles to the south, southwest of the field doing some maneuvers. Think about pitch control. Remember, that's the one thing people have to really work on because they're not used to having to do that. That and their rudders. Percy County Traffic, Archer, 578 okay. Kilo. Going to be going missed runway. Go ahead. We're going to be departing the pattern to the west of Percy County. And person Cessna Two Papa Alpha is turning about a mile and a half base for two four person. Yeah, we're out a little distance, not terribly bad, but just a little bit. So be careful you don't let the plane get low and slow. Make whatever decisions you think is appropriate. Air speed is like blood. If you don't have any, it's not a good day. Also, you don't want to get down on the treetops. because there's a tendency to go get low and then start pulling the nose up without enough power to solve your problem and getting low and slow, and that's deadly. Especially base leg to final. But final is deadly enough. Looking pretty good right now. Pretty good angle down. Speed's okay. Nice and steady, you're doing good. Might be hope for you. <laughs> okay, bring her on in. Full flaps and aim for your thousand foot thereabouts. Had a guy I used to fly with a lot used to say, we're all counting on you. be one of those days. I mean, he's a very competent pilot. He'd look over it. We're all counting on you. Looking good. Still coming down. Don't flatten out yet. You're too high. Three stripes. Good. Stay with it. Be ready to pull. Remember that last little bit. If it's still you seeing it coming at you, yeah. you got to finish that pull. you still got some you're not using. Not sure why we turned, but... Didn't use your feet enough. There you go. All right, car beat coal, and we'll go again. When you bring the nose up, the you're fighting two or three different things. Uh, P factor of the propeller pulling, trying to pull you around, torque of the engine, uh, gyroscopic precession, and in flying, I think yeah, part of the... County traffic, Archer, 578 Kilo is two miles to the south of field, 3,000. We'll be departing the area to the south. Final transmission, Percy County. Appreciate the help today. Have a good day. You too. 
um, is that there's no constant. You can't. You can cruise along at altitude and ride and trim it and fly hands off at times. But if you're near the ground, you, you're, it's constant, yeah, subtle inputs. Some of it is anticipated, some of it is reaction. Some of it, the more you do it, the more you know what to anticipate. Part of Canada is Piper 166 Minor, about 13 miles to the east, joining the pattern for runway 2623. Right, keep your climb going. Want to go on up to 1,600 feet. Person County Cessna turning downwind, runway 24, person. Why is he holding short? At Perch County traffic, November 4, 6, 7 Alpha is maneuvering 7 miles to the west of the field at 3,400 per cent. At Hunter County, Sierra 5 Hotel, downwind 2 3, touch go. City Bonanza 1, Victor Whiskey, short approach, runway 22, Cyrus City. Hey, Bonanza 1, Victor Whiskey, short approach, runway 22, Cyrus City. Southern traffic jumpers away, 13,000 below, you saw it, do not have a flood field, Southern. Hey, Person County, Cessna 2, Pop Alpha, turning base leg, 2 4, Person County. Five nine nine got five miles to the south east Harney County coming into land on runway two three gentlemen. So what are you seeing? Harney County uh, five zero hotel turning final for two three touch and go Harney County. Seeing um, a little bit high and a little bit fast. Good. I agree. Power back. Maybe more. Remember, power both holds you up and speeds you up. So it can solve some of your problems. The other part may be, do you need more drag, which would be flaps. And we don't necessarily have to land on the 1,000 foot. So if we land 2,000 feet down the runway, but do it correctly, we got four more thousand to play with. There you go. But you're nice and steady. That's what I like. Okay? Tiny bit high and fast, but you're 500 feet a minute down. Looks good. And you can start to back off the power a little bit in order to lose some of your speed. But pitch stays pretty steady. If you drop the pitch, then we pick up speed. Looking good. We're now down to 70. Coming on down. Nobody coming the other way. Still coming down. Nice and steady. Looking great. Steady as you go. When the runway starts to widen out, very slowly power all the way out and let the plane start to settle in. Work it up. Work it, work it. <coughs> Can't let go of it. Sorry. But that was a better flare. <laughs> First county traffic, R-2381 Delta. All right. One okay, car of heat. One more. Oh, we got plenty of time. Do as many as you want. Okay. Making progress here. Good. Progress is good. It's a lot. Yeah, you've come... <laughs> From the first lap we made, you've come a long way. 
you're a lot steadier, your angles are good, you're seeing it, and now it's just the confidence to fix it. Inbound for landing runway 24, person counting. And person 2, Papa Alpha, is on the takeoff and climbing out, staying in the pattern, Mauricio. Blocked. <laughs> what did he say? Somebody <laughs> said block. Niner 52 Alpha, lining up runway 24, first count. That one of your students? Maurice, well, I worked with him a little bit. He rented my plane for a while. He's already a private pilot. Okay. But he just bought that Aero Commander. That's his pride joy. Oh, I think I met him. I met him in October. Yeah, he'll talk your ear off if you let him. Pattern at altitude. But a really nice person. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, my wife mentioned that she had a conversation with him. He, um, they're waiting. Is it a lesson that you had with him? Uh huh. And then when you think you're in the right place, we'll do the downwind. Yeah, person Cessna 2 pop alpha turning downwind 2 4 person. Pitch, con pitch control. Decide, decide what the pitch needs to be. You ever hear the joke about little Johnny that was six years old, never said a word? No. I know if we're number two for runway two three, Harney County to a full stop. Following us in the pattern? No, he's leaving. Okay. Well, one day little Johnny came down to breakfast, watch the altitude. Came down to breakfast and he looked around and he said, Mama, this dang toast is burnt. And after everybody got over the amazement that little Johnny actually could talk, County traffic. Archer, they said, Alpha. Johnny, if you could talk, how come you hadn't said anything? He said, well, up to now, everything's been okay. <laughs> well, your job as the trainee is to get the instructor to shut up. Okay. Because the less I say, the more you're doing right. Most of the time. <laughs> Occasionally, I'll be quiet just to see what you're going to do, but... In, I'm okay with that. In the early part, I'm, I'm trying to give you enough room to make a decision, but not enough room to get too far out of bounds. So I want you making decisions as much as you can. First okay. County traffic, Archer 95, 2 Alpha, starting the crosswind to the south. Final call, first. And then part of the time, I'm trying to encourage you for what you're doing to be, you know, when it's good, I'm trying to let you know, yes, that's what I want to see. Okay. First County traffic, Cherokee 527, remember, is on the uh, final for runway 6, I'm going to practice r and and we'll uh, go three miles out at 2,000 feet. At six. Tyler, traffic here, two five Juliet, eight mile final runway two three. Tyler. Hornet, five Sierra Hotel, turning crosswind two three, touch and go, Hornet. And aircraft inbound on Isle, on the R now six at person. What are you planning to do? Right, to fly your plane till we decide. Okay. Person County, two pop alpha is about a mile final for runway two four, Person County. And Person County, Commander 692. Okay, more flaps, you're going really fast and we're about to go high if you don't fix it. Power back quite a bit. Bring your power back some more. Nice and steady. This guy's all over the place on this approach. Still high, more flaps. Pitch is okay, but you got to pull the power out, get it slowed down some. Looks like he's breaking it off. Looking pretty good. We're slowing down. 
Numbers are coming to us. The thousands are staying fairly still, maybe rising a tiny bit. Looking good. Still coming down. Good. Power coming out. Nose coming up very slowly. You see that last little bit where it just rushes up at you? You see that happening, you got to keep pulling. You can't quit. That's, that's where you're going to hit and plop on it if you're not careful. Okay, flaps up. Flaps. All right. That's all right. I've been doing it for you. I was transitioning you into a heavier workload. I'm okay with that. Right foot, just a tiny bit. I try to pretend that you're not there. That's good. That is what you should be doing. No offense. No, this, that's what you're after is <laughs> to get rid of me. That's the whole game. Push the tail traffic, Commander 690, Julia, one mile final, runway 24, person down and full stop. Traffic RC3 at one stealth uh, entering uh, left downwind for 24 heart dog first county. Person County says the two pop alphas turning base 24 person. How are you doing today, Mr. Steve? <laughs> Good, Mauricio. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you, sir. Final runway 22, uh, uh, practice approach for run at 22, South City. County, 20 County, final. control, there you go. If you feel like you need it, just throw in a lot of power. Power gets you out of a lot of trouble. I just put a little in. Whatever you think, you make decisions. Copy, 
County traffic, RTK at 1 Delta on the downwind for 24 Fifth County. Delta 124, Fifth County traffic, Looking good. Person County traffic, R-2381 Delta, left base for 24, we have the person traffic in sight. Power out. Three stripes. Stay with it. Keep working. Don't quit. Keep working. Work, work, work. Remember, it's going to fall out from under you. If you look too close, people tend to flare high. If they look too far away, they tend to not flare at all. And, and you're kind of flaring high and then as, and thinking maybe that you're already there when, yeah. when you've still got a little ways to go. Yeah, you're right. So you probably need to move your vision out just a little bit. Not, not way out, but another stripe or so. You're right, I was looking too close. And Cessna's on the takeoff roll on 2-4 person. Feels like the winds are changing a little bit. Well, you've got to deal with them. They may, they may be. I wasn't saying I wasn't going to. <laughs> I was just making an observation. Yeah, if you see it starting to drift, it could be they've changed. Yeah. That, that happens. Yeah, just a little bit. Maybe the something's happening with the weather. Front moving in, something. Although tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. Yeah, I don't think we've got anything like that big front that came through. No. Hopefully not for a while. Got uh, lessons tomorrow? Yep, all day. Oh, yikes. Press County traffic, RTP at 1 Delta on the go, runway 24, remaining in the pattern. Press County. Two and a half mile final runway 22, two, South Bay. There's that vibration again. The traffic, 2456 Quebec, left down 123. So my observation is I'm tight. Yeah, I'd say a tiny bit, not bad. So that just means you might want to extend a tiny bit, and okay. that gives makes up for the lack of having time on base leg. That's what I was going to do. I just wanted to let you know yep. aware of it. <laughs> yep, that's that's good thinking. Sorry for these people who live here. Yeah, generally we turn inside the this set of houses. I know, um, I, not but not always. Because if we're following other planes or 
for any reason, you know, you do extend out over them. But that's the reason they buy the land cheap. Watch your pitch. What is that white building? Uh, it originally was a textile factory, and they went bankrupt, and I'm not 100% sure now. They expanded it recently, and it, at one point it was bought by, a, I think, a tobacco co-op that made, uh, made uh, off-brand cigarettes. Okay. And I think that's what's still there, and, and it may be that they're making uh, uh, cigarettes, uh, what do they call it, natural or organic, making organic cigarettes. Okay, so don't let it come in low. Got to power up, you power up. And then we're checking the far end of the runway, make sure nobody's landing coming the other way. And then once you're comfortable that that isn't happening, then you're watching for the where you think you're going to touch down or where you'd like to touch down and see what it looks like. I got two white now. Okay, now drop your nose a little bit. Good. Not much, just a tiny bit. And remember, this time you're going to look about four centerline stripes ahead when you start the flare. Okay. Right now, I'd still be kind of moving my eyes around, but mainly looking at the 1,000-foot mark, still sinking into them. Uh, air speed occasionally, Coast keep coming Coast down, Coast down, Coast nose Coast down, Coast nose Coast down, Coast right there. Now yeah, about four stripes. Now you're going uh, back up again. again. About four stripes ahead. You see them rising slowly, just gradually ease back and back and back till you feel it touch. If you see that closure moving rapidly, it takes a bigger movement. If it's coming slowly, it takes a slow movement. If you flare high and lose your airspeed, gravity is going to eat you up again. Yep. So That's it's a matter of just figuring out that balance. And I don't know any good way to do it besides just go out here and pound the runway. <laughs> uh, hopefully not too hard. Person County traffic, uh, Cherokee 8527 River is approximately 11 miles on the uh, r and for runway 24, currently 2,800 descending. Person County traffic, 172 Papa Alpha is turning left crosswind for runway 24, Person County traffic. A little bit of a crosswind, I can see the smoke. Yep. Person County traffic 172 Papa Alpha is turning downwind for runway 24, Person County traffic. Someone's taken off, but I don't hear any communication. He just landed. Oh, okay. He may be doing touch and goes, but he just landed. But you're right, I hadn't heard anything either. I saw him on this thing. That's the reason I knew he was out there. First County traffic, r 3 at one Delta, clear runway in 2-4, that's coming.
Washington 1, traffic, 5 minutes, full jump is in the air over Washington 1, 1, 0, 10,000 flow, 5 minutes. Preston County traffic, 172 Papa Alpha is turning base for runway 24, 24, Preston County traffic. And Preston County traffic, Cherokee 8527 November is on uh, 5 mile final for runway 24, we're currently at 2,300 feet, be advised, Preston County. You don't worry about him. Person County Traffic, 172 Papa Alpha is turning final for runway 24, Person County Traffic. And we're only about a mile out on final at two person. So high and fast is power. I'm high and fast? Yep. You're about 100 feet too high at the end of the runway. Still about 100 feet up. Got to keep coming down. Person County traffic. Okay, uh, four stripes. Five, two, three miles out. On the, uh, four stripes. Currently 1,800. You can't let off. Can't let off. When you do, it just plops over on the nose, and that's the start of your porpoising. Okay. All right, car beat coal. We'll go get a good one. You were doing pretty good right now. That last tiny bit, but that's part of learning. I don't know. I don't know what hit me. I really don't. I wish I could explain. Well, there's a huge amount that has to come together in one ball. Yeah, I know, work. I've had better. That's my problem. I, I. Uh, you're too hard on yourself. I am. Just fix the next one. That's that's a characteristic of mine. Well, most most good pilots aren't satisfied with how they fly. You know, it's not often I get out if I go fly myself that I thought I flew it. In fact, I don't know if I've ever done it. Flown a perfect flight. There's always something I recognize that I could have done better. Some days I'm more happy than others, however. <laughs> well, I had a couple good ones. Traffic. Uh, two thousand two hundred. two mile final runway two four on the Arnav. Uh, we'll try one more. If it, sometimes, as you get mentally tired, it also starts to, to come back apart. Okay. That's one of the things I look for is, you know, you've been doing pretty good and all of a sudden you're doing two or three bad ones in a row. Maybe it's time to stop for a while. Preston County Traffic, 172 Papa Alpha is turning left crosswind for runway 24. Preston County Traffic. County traffic. Cherokee 8527 remember is going around, is doing a missed approach on runway 24. We're going to side step to the right to stay clear of traffic. First County. They actually had enough room. They just. Damn? No, but they're on the other side. Of the, one of them's taking off, and the other one's on the other side of the runway. I see one of them. They both ATP? I don't know. One of them is. I don't know about the other one. There's the other one. Yeah, they had plenty of room. But part of it is, you know, they don't necessarily know they got plenty of room because they don't have the experience. They aren't, anticip aren't able to anticipate enough because they aren't haven't seen enough. 
and better there on the side of not being too close and giving away than it is to have a problem. Yeah, like being too high. And we're going to do a short approach on this one, power 180 for the county. County traffic 172 Papa Alpha is turning uh, base for runway 24. Person County traffic. County okay, traffic Archer 381 Delta. We're going to do a 360 here on the downwind just to keep spacing for our power 180. Person County. That, what does that mean? Don't, means don't worry about him. He's talking. <laughs> <laughs> just keep flying your plane. Okay. <laughs> what what it means is he thinks he doesn't have enough room, so. Doing 360? I don't care that he's doing a 360. It makes no difference to me. Uh, you keep flying your plane where it needs to go. I just want to make sure he's not doing a 360 close by. Oh. Yeah, your your objective is for you to be in control of your airplane. All right. After that, it's to navigate. Oh, After that, it's to let worry about other airplanes. Below, do not directly overfly the field. Watch the traffic. Now, obviously, you know, if you see another plane really close by and you have to maneuver, that's different. But a lot of times people get all worked up or tight or concerned, anxious about another airplane that really doesn't make any difference. But part of that's kind of understanding what's going on, too. Okay, so, to okay, so you're right. getting a tiny bit low. Good. I'm not seeing any lights. Well, they don't always aren't always on. But what you want to see is the okay. picture. I know. I just you see the whole runway beginning to rise. Yep. That tells me you're getting low, slow, and when you pull up with no power, what happens to your airspeed? Close your way. Look at your airspeed. So we ought to be 70 right now, and you feel how it's starting to get mushy. Yes. Okay, that's too slow. That's that's a mental cue that if I'm fighting the controls and it's kind of wallowing, I probably need some more speed. Except in the immediate flare, in which case you can't put, put the power in. That's, I mean, you could, but then that defeats the ability to land. Now you're looking good. So now start to bring your power back. Well, okay, just bringing it down from here. Maybe power slowly coming out. Bringing it down nice and gently, looking good. Nice and steady. Stay lined up on the center line. Power coming back all the way. All the way. About three to four stripes ahead. Okay, Start to pull back gently. Wait on it. Wait on it. Be ready. Pull some more. More. And then that's what you do. So. That wasn't too bad. You want to do some more or you want to quit? It's up to you. Uh, you got about an hour and eight or nine tenths in right now. What do you think that was? I think you did fine. I'd go do another one if you feel up to it. Okay. I just wanted to end on a power on a positive note. But I guess I have to have confidence that I could do another good one. Certainly. I got confidence. All right. I think, think most of it's where you're looking. I think you're probably staring at one place and you need to move your eyes around just a little bit. Okay. Anytime you stare at one thing, it's hard to perceive change. People perceive change mostly with peripheral vision. Right. But peripheral vision is hard to judge depth. So you have to kind of use both parts of your ability to make it all come together. But it also is why if you only stare at one place, you tend to not see the changes till they become big. 
Sky Shadow, Director 381 Delta, short approach on way 24, powerful name, first Sky. Pressing County traffic 172 Papa Alpha is turning crosswind for runway 24. Pressing County traffic. Person County traffic, 172 Papa Alpha is turning downwind for runway 24. Person County traffic. Delta is going around. Uh, Press the cut. Turn the heat off a little bit. Or sure. Turn it down. <laughs> South Beach traffic, May 6th, extra A, 2 mile final, and only 2 2 South Beach. Personal traffic, Liberty 149 is 5 miles to the northwest. <clears throat> we'll be uh, across the midfield, joining the left side of runway 2 4, personal. High as hell. <laughs> so my solution is to go out just a little bit farther. Well, your the other solution is back the power off more and fly your normal pattern. Okay. So right now you're you're not very far off right now. You're okay. back down to sixteen hundred. Person County traffic. 172 Papa Alpha is turning base for runway 24, Person County traffic. Remember, every time we're keeping power in until we get to the runway, which tells me if we pull the power a little sooner, we could compensate for being high. Okay. High is better than low. Yeah, absolutely. Person County traffic, 172 Papa Alpha is turning final for runway 24, Person County traffic. Person County traffic, Archer 381 Delta, left cross 124, Person County. You see, the only problem with flying this bigger pattern, because we're out about a mile and a half right now, is that there's a tendency to run out of air speed and altitude. And so we end up, if we're smart, we're powering up sooner so that we can drag it back in Press County traffic, R2381 Delta left downwind. Four, work your feet. Remember, feet work with your hands out here. If you're rolling right, we need that right foot. Now we're back, getting pretty close to the normal position again. Yep. Traffic Liberty 149, two miles to the northwest. We'll be crossing over Midfield Trail left on runway 24. Push now. And remember, if you're flattening it out too much, it's either going to hang you up here and lose speed, or you're going to get slow, but you're not coming down. See everything all of a sudden going down? Yeah. So that means your nose is too high. So now you got to point the nose back down about there. Good. And then manage airspeed with power. 
of power coming out because we need to keep coming down. Good. Power coming back more. Keep coming down. Don't flatten out. Good. Start. You see it rushing up at you. You got to fix that a little bit quicker. Three to four stripes. Pull, pull, pull. Good. And once it touches, remember you can't let off. There's a real tendency to say, phew, this is over. <laughs> and drop the nose. And that's possibly could pick the whole plane back up, but it certainly can bounce your nose in the air. Yeah. So let's do one more. Okay, <laughs> Carby. Good. Uh, base I knew that was going to happen. Going end on a better one. All right, so I'm going to stay until I get a good one. That was the sunset. <laughs> we're not going to be there that long. Uh, we're going to run out of fuel by that time. I was just kidding. Oh, you looked over there like, what the? Uh, doing this, we got an easy four hours we could torture the runway. <laughs> or you. Have nightmares about your nose wheel. Carson County traffic 172 Papa Alpha is turning crosswind for runway 24. One uh, person car traffic. So how long you been married? Thirty. Wow. Five. Thirty-four. So you don't even remember what Dayton was like, do you? <laughs> I do remember. I think you got an analogy coming. I do. If you want to make a good a landing, you got to make a good approach. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. Well, I fixed my altitude problem. Someone's taking off. They're not telling anybody where they're going. Gotta love it. I feel like saying to them, like, hey, we're over here. Remember us? Well, as long as he's taking off and we're on downwind, I don't really care if he's going to stay in the pattern. Sometimes it's nice to know that. Yeah. So you're a tiny bit tight. So you can turn a little bit if you want to. Give yourself a little more time. What I'm trying to do is get away from that really long straight in. I'm trying to get back into a, a normal pattern again. Good. Now straighten it back out and get your nose up to slow down and a notch of flaps. Good. Power back a tiny bit more. Out of, pull it back, power back a little bit. A little more. Power back a little more and let the nose down to start descending. Person County Traffic 172 Papa Alpha is turning base for runway 24. Person County Traffic. Okay, so now you're looking pretty good. Keep your nose down ever so slightly so we start losing altitude. That'll give you a little bit of speed. That'll feel good. Angles look good. Squared off the pattern nicely. Power back a tiny bit. Another notch of flaps. Now, that extra power is hanging you up here. And that means you're not making a steady descent to the runway. You're looking to make a steady descent all the way around at about 500 feet a minute. Sometimes you have to adjust that, but that's the ideal. Altitude to the runway looks good. Angle looks good. Keep it coming down, down. Control that pitch. Power back just a tiny bit. Good. Nose up just a tiny bit. Right there, right there. Liberty 177, five to the northeast, Brookdale. Yeah, Looking good, nice and steady. Nobody coming the other way. He's not a problem. If you see that end rising t 
towards you, power up just a tiny bit. Because we've got to make sure we go over the end of the runway. So right now I'm looking about the 2-4, the end of the, my eyes are moving around. I'm trying not to pull up, because if you pull up, your airspeed goes poof. And that means you don't have the speed to make the flare with. Power all the way out, looking about three stripes ahead of you. Maybe four. Work them slowly, slowly. Keep pulling, keep, wait, pull more. That's basically what you do, right one there. One more? Yeah, one more will be fine. <laughs> That's basically what you want to do right there, except we'd like to not lose that tiny bit of speed, because that yeah. got us a little bit slow. I also was mad about the fact that I couldn't level it off. Well, you don't want to level it off that high. Well, but I was doing this, and that was not good. That normal? Is it because of the crosswind? No, it, it's more... What I think, and I, I don't have a hard basis for this, what I think is that we're working four dimensions. We're working up, down, sideways, front bands, altitude, speed. To the wind. So, and they all interrelate. So if you adjust anything, it changes something else. And in the beginning, your brain starts to focus on what it thinks is the most important component of that. Is it the slide downhill? Is it the centering on the runway? You know, what is it that your brain perceives as being the most crucial point? And as you gain more and more experience, you, your brain starts to put the whole package together. Whereas at times it will fixate on one piece of that package. The reason we had an airplane damaged uh, a couple of years, three years ago, was because the guy got so fixed on side-to-side -side control of the runway that he flared four feet in the air and plopped it in. The GPS for runway 24, leaving 2,500 for 2,300. I didn't catch where he was. He's out of ways. That's your friend? Nope. Okay. Person County, two pop alpha is downwind, two four person. He's out about eight miles. Traffic temperature two zero one. So we should easily be in front of him. The north will be overflying. Your distances look good. And Steve, how do you hear him? Nose, nose down. Thank you, Julia. Pretty clear, Bill. And thank you. And where are you right now? Midfield downwind. Okay, we're going to take the active for departure to the north. Got plenty of time. Thank you. Okay, so set up. Don't worry about him. He's going to be long gone time you get there. So you got to do your deal. Yep. Power out, carb heat, power and flaps. Because if we don't do our deal, he's no problem. The guy coming in is no problem yet. But we, if we go way out, he could be. Flaps. Traffic, Liberty 177 entering left downwind 24, Burkdale. Good. There you go on the pitch control. That was good. And now if you stay relaxed, we should just start to sink down in, in this. Make your turn. Good. Just like you're doing. Power back a tiny bit. Not much. About 100 RPM. Good. And also, I would much rather you be a tiny bit fast through here than I would slow. Okay. Fast, I can get rid of. Slow, you know, can dig you a hole. So still coming down. Aiming the plane where you think it needs to be going. And person two pop alpha turning final. Uh, two four full stop. Person county. That guy behind you turned away. Looking good. Angles look good. Power back some a little fast. Power on back. All right, good. As soon as you get to the white arc, we'll put some flaps in. Now, don't you don't want to see the end of that runway still. You want to see it coming towards you. You want to see the 1,000-foot point still. If the end's rising, we definitely got to fix it, but we're doing 90. Okay? So you can pitch up a bit about there and let the plane start to slow down. Now you're back in the game again. 
So again, we're not looking for the numbers. We want to go past the numbers. If they aren't coming towards you, if they're staying really still, we're going to be too short. So power up just a little bit. A little bit of power. There you go. Maybe a little more. A little more. Remember, it's five miles out. Good. Nose down slightly. Right there. Not too far. Not too far. Good. We're lined up on the runway, hands and feet. Power coming back and no, and letting the plane settle. Where are you looking? Forward. How far? Four stripes. Okay. So you see them coming up fast? Yep. Slowly. Now, if you overdo it, you see them balloon. Now you got to fight it again. How to fix the float. Well, part of that speed control, a little of it, you're over-rotating. Pulling too hard. Yeah, a little bit, tiny bit too hard. And maybe I'm so self-conscious about that wheel, I don't want to come <laughs> anywhere close to it. Okay, I have the controls for a minute. Okay. Where are we going? That's what your landing should look like. You want to feel like you're sitting on the runway. Okay. So is that three stripes, two stripes, one stripe? What three. About three. Okay. So that's where you want to feel like. Yeah. And if you look too close, you, you'll typically feel like you're looking down. And if you look too far away, you won't really tell. Uh, the examples would be, I don't know if you've ever tried to carry a big box where you can't see and walk down steps. Right. And you don't really know where they are. You kind of know. But you don't know, your brain can't quite figure out where to, to do the absorption. Okay, you have the controls. I control. Uh, so, you know, it makes walking down those steps pretty tough. By the same, and that's looking too far ahead. And then by the same token, if you're looking so close that it's beginning to get blurry, your depth perception won't work. So it's a matter of looking as far enough ahead so that you see the closure and can make that, a, that step down onto the next step kind of thing. And at the same time, it's not blurry because of lack of depth perception. And I sort of think for each person it's a little different. I, I'm not positive about that, but it, I don't think I can just sit out here and draw a line and draw another line and say, okay, that's where you look every time for everybody. Right. I think think you have to sort of figure that one out, but uh, I can get you in the ball game. So there's nothing I can do outside the airplane to help me with my floating. Uh, floating is mainly an airspeed control. Okay. So you, I start people out a little bit fast on purpose because too fast we are going to float a little bit, but you're going to learn how to maneuver the controls. And you can go in here, you can go to either one. This one works fine. Um, you you kind of develop a sense of control input right. without getting dangerously slow and dropping it in. Right. So in the beginning, what we have is people come down to about the time the runway starts to widen out and slowly rotate in and then hesitate for just a second or so and then the gravity will take over, loss of speed, that combo will take over, and you'll sink in. If you over-rotate, you actually go back up, but you eat up more speed. If you under-rotate, then you never really get a flare to work. And again, it's an art form. If I could figure out any better way to explain this instead of just over, you know, explaining it, demonstrating, and practice, you know, I, I could charge a lot. I wouldn't make my... I'd, you know, get people it's done quicker, November and we'll put it. Two seven November is uh, going around. I mean, to twelve hundred for three thousand. There's a counting wrong way too far. 